y'all. What up, though? Your girl got some braids in my hair. Some braids in my hair. Because it is officially Beyonce week, okay? We got three more days until we get to witness. Well, not three more days. What's the day? Yes, three more days until Beyonce, until we get to witness greatness. Me and Raquel is like, we ready. We, we like ready. Uh, so, y'all, as y'all can see, I got my braids done yesterday. I'm about to get ready to leave after I talk with y'all. I'm about to go ahead and get my brows done. You all know I loved when I had got my brows. What was it? The tint? I really loved it. It lasted so long. I think it would have lasted longer if I would have never gotten the water and all that stuff. But when we went to Putacana, but I was like, I needed to get on here so we can do a small unboxing. Um, and then I wanted to answer some questions. So I wanted to be able to do this Q and A because I know a lot of you all have requested it. You all sent me things on it and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure, and sorry y'all, I'm just pulling up the questions. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you all were getting what you needed from me because you guys asked some really good questions. So let me go ahead and get all my stuff ready that I'm about to get ready to unbox and all that good stuff. And then we about to get right into this Q and A and then I'll do some a small unboxing. One second. All right, y'all, so I'm back. So I'm gonna be honest, y'all. <laughs> I may need to do a full video of some of the questions that you asked or give a little bit more time because some of the questions you all asked were very, very great questions about me, but they're very much more detailed. And I think I definitely want to be able to share context about some of the questions you asked. And then a lot of you all asked a lot of questions, like a lot of like general questions and things like that or whatever. So I'm gonna try to get to as many as possible. So just bear with me, but first one, is what is my favorite color um my favorite color is purple with a little bit of yellow right like i'm a purple girl i love purple with a little bit of yellow <laughs> um it says how many luxury bags do i have uh i don't i feel like to me i feel like luxury is anything name brand um so i got a lot of them i won't just say like my louis vuitton or my gucci bags or anything like that because i feel like name brand to me is everything okay we're talking coach michael kors louis gucci uh dior dior whatever chanel <laughs> saint laurent um what else teflor um mark jacobs so i don't know i don't know the specific number because i've always had like name brands my mom and my husband have always bought me purses and stuff since and things like that so i got a lot of them i, I won't put a number to them but I, I just like purses so i really don't care i'm not a label girl y'all know that um so i'm not care how many kids do i want um this was a really good question because everybody has been asking me about kids on here which i think this is one of the questions that we should definitely deep dive into so i'll make note of that but to me i already have one um of course raquel she's a teen now so i would say maybe two more if you know of course god willing um my husband and i would like to have two more um if possible but if one more that's all that's fine but two more um yes i do want kids that was another one too like do we want more kids um and yes i do want more kids um just whenever the time is timing is timing honey you know timing uh let's see let's see let's see let's see why do i enjoy going to concerts oh this is a good one because everybody asks me like what we like to do for fun i'm like we like sports and we like going to concerts well i'm gonna be honest i pay a little bit of money to go to concerts for the experience um but i just like it i feel like i'm not a big club girl so i would just way rather just go to a concert dance for three hours get my life together see someone i love and just the atmosphere you know like everybody is hype everybody to do this everybody there is to do the same thing as you which is go and enjoy you know someone that you like someone you like to listen to so we enjoy that's why we enjoy concerts um let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see um because i'm gonna come back to some of them a little bit later um what is my favorite like alcohol drink <laughs> i don't even know if i can say alcohol but what's 
my favorite adult beverage? Um, I'm gonna say a lemon drop. Y'all know I love a good, good old lemon drop, honey. Let's 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 get a lemon drop. <laughs> um, let's get a lemon drop. And then this one, how many states have I visited? Uh, cause you all know we like to travel and go. Mm, I've visited New York, Illinois, Michigan. Of course, we lived in Tennessee. We lived in Kentucky, Alabama, um, Ohio, Georgia, um, Las Vegas, Colorado, uh, Houston, Texas, baby. Of course, y'all, we about to go see Beyonce, okay? Uh, so Texas, um, let me see, let me see. Oh, Mississippi, Arkansas, all of those are right there in that area. Florida. Um, so yeah, those are the states that I feel like we visited. I don't think there's any more. We definitely are Southern people as you all can see. I need to spend some more time up North or going up to the West because I do not. Um, why did I get into IT? Oh, this was a good one about my career. So a little bit as to why I got into IT. I didn't go into specifically IT. I think I need to probably explain that a little bit more and I'm trying to get comfortable to y'all. But I did not go into IT per se. I went into sales. So I'm in sales, right? So I'm a sales leader. So if you do not know that I am a sales leader, I just work for an IT company. Um, and so I went into sales. I have a passion about sales. Um, I have a passion about building relationships, right? So I've always knew that I wanted to either go into sales or consulting because I'm just very relationship driven. Um, hence why I value my friendships, I value my family, and et cetera. I value you all is because I, I really, really, you know, think I have a really good niche into building relationships, establishing buy-in, and just really, really being a good advocate for whether I'm selling something or for my friends or anything like that. So I'm like, okay, I really like this. So why not turn it into a career? So um, that's how I got into sales. And then now I'm actually a leader. So I'm a sales manager. So I lead people to do what I was good at as a um, account manager, business development person, whatever you want to call it, advisor, whatever they call it nowadays. Um, so I just went into it as, okay, well, I'm really good at it. Let me lead people in how to do that, but also make money. So that's kind of what I do. So I'm a sales leader for an IT company that sells hardware, software, all that good stuff. You all know that. Um, I've been doing it for five years. Um, I love it if, if it's up to me. <laughs> and of course, God willing, I want to retire there. Um, my dream is to honestly become a president of a global company. I don't want to be CEO, of course, but my goal is I want to be a president of a global company in regards to sales and things of that nature. So it's a little vague, but that's my goal. Whether that's in sales operations or strategy and marketing, that's where I eventually want to go. I want to be the president. I want to own an organization. That's where I want to go. Um, very, very, very high goals. We got a long way to get there, y'all. Okay, we got a very long time, but that is my goal. Um, I know a lot of people are like, You want to work for the rest of your life? Y'all don't understand. I love working, and as we continue to talk, y'all will see why I love working. But I love working, I don't have a problem with working. Um, I just don't like, I worked my whole entire life, I don't have a problem. I'm very goal driven. Um, I feel like within my career. Uh, it may have taken a few other people a lot longer to get to where I am, but it hasn't taken me because I feel as though I'm my biggest advocate. And I always encourage Raquel, I encourage Taylor, my friends, everybody to be your biggest advocate. Set your own brand. Don't let someone else set your brand for you. You control your destiny, regardless who writing the check. You control your destiny, right? You control how you want to maneuver and how you want your career to be. And you just work towards it, right? And then another piece of advice that I can give someone, and I, I know this was an ask, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it to y'all. We can talk about this more in depth in another video, but let me just go ahead and give y'all this. If you are at a company and you are working for promotions and things like that, it's all come down to networking. I don't care what no one tells you all, network. I know for some people that's a little awkward because some people are introverts where they are not as outgoing as I am and et cetera, but it's okay, right? Like find some people within your organization that you have something, some small thing in common 
get to know them, right? Get to know who they are, like what their goals are and build your build build your people that can advocate for you, right? Build the people build on who can, you know, have a conversation when you're not around. Who can speak you? Who can speak you up to other people when you're not in the room? So start thinking about it coming from there. And then also always think about what you want to do two steps from now. I know that sounds crazy, but always be thinking about what you want to do two step two steps from now. So for example, if I was an entry level salesperson, my two steps would be I would want to lead people, right? Where I'm at now. That would be two steps on where I want to be. If I was coming in fresh out of college, which I was. Then I was thinking about what I wanted to do two steps from now. Not what I needed to get promoted to next, but what I needed to get promoted after that. So I could be working to fill in the blanks on how I can do that. So that's just a little bit of advice I'll give you there, but I'll just be honest. We'll talk about that more as we go into getting to know me as far as like career wise, because that was a lot of questions around career. Like, why do I like it? Why do I love it? You know, what do I want to do next? All that good stuff. So that's a little bit about that. Um, cool. So now we're going to go into a little bit of personal things. You know, um, how did I know my husband was the one? I mean, because I was his best friend. Um, <laughs> Y'all know that, like for real. Um, no, but Taylor literally is my best friend. We've been knowing each other um, almost 11 years. Um, we got to know each other friend wise and things like that. We did not rush our relationship. Um, we met working at Amazon, which is where Taylor e is now. It's crazy. But we met working at Amazon and we became friends through friends. And then we just he just made me laugh. Like he just made me laugh. I made him laugh. Um, complete opposite though. Uh, we are very much opposite. Taylor is an introvert. I am an extrovert. Um, but he still made me laugh. Um, he was really good at that. Um, but how did I know he was the one? I mean, the relationship he has with Raquel. Um, he's an amazing stepfather to her. He's been in her life since she was five. Um, and he's just really amazing. Like their relationship is what made me know that he was the one before we got married. Right. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else did y'all ask me? Um, that was about about him. Of course, y'all asked me. I think some people were asking how long we have been together. Yes, we we have been knowing each other for 10 years and we've been together like relationship wise for 10 years, but we've been only married for five only. <laughs> we've been married for five and a half years now. Um, we got married in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, let's see, let's see. Have I ever been arrested? Uh, <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. Um, be honest, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't got nothing else to say. I'm scared. Um, that, that just, that's just what it is. How many siblings do I have? I'm an only child on my mom's side. And to be quite honest, on my dad's side, I think I have maybe four or five siblings. I don't have a relationship with my father. I do not know what that looks like on his side of his family. But over here on Miss Florida's side, I'm the only child. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> um, I'm the only child. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's see, uh, where are we? I gotta go back to the screenshots, y'all. Um, how am I adjusting to Atlanta, pros or cons? I had a lot of questions around Atlanta, but this specifically um around Atlanta and why we chose Atlanta if you all do not know we moved to Atlanta because of Taylor's work they relocated us here to Atlanta we were from Tennessee and they relocated us here how are we adjusting to Atlanta we forever love Atlanta no we love Atlanta I have met some amazing amazing people in Atlanta um my friends my wifesters that's what I call them um some amazing amazing women who are very like-minded, smart as heck, talented as heck. Um, just, yes, one, I love that. We're just very well. My gym people, not my gym people, my gym fam, I found a gym which has been very great for me and my mental, um, which is honestly very, very, makes me very, very happy. Raquel School um, is amazing. Um, Taylor's good, he's met friends. And things like that the traffic we still we pretty much got that adjusted to um the only thing that i will say is like i like we have to drive everywhere because we're kind of in like what we call you know south atlanta whatever you know close out here to mcdonald all that and stuff like that 
So we literally have to Stockbridge, Union City, all of that, all of that, right? We have to drive everywhere. <laughs> Except for the necessity. So we got like a Walmart, a Target, a Publix, a Kroger's box. But like when we want to go to the mall and stuff, we have to go into the city or we have to go by nearby or something. And we have to drive. That's the only thing versus when we lived in Tennessee, there was a mall down the street. We lived in Murfreesboro. It's a small suburb of Nashville. So things weren't that far. Um, so we have to drive. But it's honestly, it's not like it's bad because we just get up and go early in the morning and we good. Like I literally went on my lunch break and I was good. We just have to drive. Um, but other than that, we like it. We built this beautiful home. You all know that. Of course, we built this beautiful home. So we love it. We are adjusting very well. I would say I did do a lot of research before we moved because they gave Taylor notice enough notice that we were coming to Atlanta I did a lot of research I did a lot of research on my nail person my braid people my hair my natural hairstylist I did a lot of stuff like that I joined Facebook groups for other wives because I was like I did not want to be here by myself I know that's what a lot of people say is why they struggle moving away from families because they don't make connections and I was not about to do that um and so I did do a lot of research before I came so if you are relocating somewhere else or you're relocating to Atlanta, research where you're going to be living. Try to move close to where you're going to be working if you're not remote. Try to move close because traffic is not no joke, okay? Not, not no joke. Um, if you could only shop from one store for home decor, which store would you choose? Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me get my laptop. <laughs> Um, which would I choose if I could only shop at one store? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say Home Goods. Y'all know I like Home Goods, and regardless of night. I'm gonna say home goods. I love me some Target, right? I do love Target, but um, I do love Target, but y'all, sometimes like Target be, you know, <laughs> it's a little different. I feel like home goods, I can get everything. I can get curtains. I can get various amounts of curtains, curtain rods, modern stuff. I can get my seat in my office, my bathroom, everything. I literally, if I could get like, I don't know, 10 bands or something. And I, can't, I I literally would go to Home Goods and just buy everything I needed to, like from my house or whatever. So I would do, I would say Home Goods. I would say Home Goods for sure. Um, home Goods, Home Goods. Uh, can you share what colors you're using to decorate for fall? So I'm using this color <laughs> behind me. So I'm using like, I think it's like terracotta is really the color of it. It's like terracotta. It's like burnt orange, but with a splash of like red in there. So I think they call it terracotta, but you guys see like what I'm using. You seen it before. Those are my colors. So like this taupe and beige and brown with a little bit of this terracotta mixed into it. My pillows are like that. So that's what I'm using for the fall. I really think it's very cute for Thanksgiving this year, y'all. We're using that same color. Cannot wait. That's what I'm about to show y'all on the, and a few when we do the small unboxing. Uh, what are some of your favorite TV shows, movies, shows you and husband watch together? So what are my favorite TV shows? Ready to Love, Love is Blind, Ultimatum, All American, All American Homecoming, Bring It Back, All American Homecoming, okay? Um, All American, Grey's Anatomy, um, Scandal, uh, Empire, uh, Love Island, um, all of Power, Power Ghost, Raising Canaan, Power Force, um, BMF. <laughs> um, that's why we keep a we keep a star subscription. Um, favorite movies, uh, y'all, and I can go down the list on shows. Y'all know that I can. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Medicine is top tier. Okay. Married to Medicine is coming back in November, y'all. I think I'm going to like get into reviews on Married to Medicine. And I say that because that is like one of the realest shows on TV. I love Married to Medicine. I, I love that. I love that because it's very educated women on that TV show. And they represent black excellence. I love Married to Medicine. Um, movies that I love. 
I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Y'all might find it funny. I love Transformers. I love every single Transformers movie. I'm. I love all of the Fast and Furious movies. If you all do not know, fun fact: Taylor took me to Fast and the Furious Six for our very first date. That is why I love the Fast and the Furious series. That's a movie that we do watch together all the time. So I love all of them. Um, I love all the Jurassic Parks and Jurassic World movies. Um, I love all of John Wick's movies. I love Equalizer. I love London Has Fallen, Olympus, and Angel Has Fallen. I love, um, um, let me see. I love like old, like 2000 movies. So you talking Bring It On, you talking Deliver Us From Eva, you talking Love Jones, you talking Love Is Back, Love and Basketball. Um, we're talking Think Like a Man, Love Think Like a Man. I can watch those movies a lot. Uh, those movies like that's just packed with different characters in them. All of the Best Man movies, um, the Best Man series. I love that. We, we, we're going to rewatch that for the holidays this year. Um, let me see. Let me see. What else? What other movies do we like? I think I said Equalizer. Um, yes. And then what do we watch together? All of that. <laughs> Taylor watches all day. He don't watch Real Housewives of Atlanta or whatever, but he does watch Married to Medicine. Now, we do be glued in for Married to Medicine. I think that's why it's so pivotal and so important to me. That's why I like that. Um, but we watch all of them together. Uh, he's not into, like, uh, Transformers and stuff like that. He normally goes to sleep, but he loves the John Wicks and all the Fallens and things like that. So, that's a little bit what we watch. That's a very minimal. Y'all know when I, I when we vlog, I tell y'all what we be watching on TV. Like what we about to binge watch. We love cooking shows or like, you know, uh, competition shows like that. We love that. Was it rough being a teen mom? Yes, it was. Um, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I think I'm definitely, this was a one a area that in my career that I want to spend a little bit more time on. I know I don't have a lot of time because I don't want to make this, this video like an hour and a half, but was it rough being a teen mom? Yes, it was. It was very rough. Um, it was very much of a different experience. And um, I got pregnant when I was uh, 14 um, and I had Raquel right before I turned 15. I was a very young teen mom. Um, but I will say I had a very, very good support system. And I'm not saying someone who took care of my baby because honey mama had to stay home and homeschool and take care of her baby for the first, uh, for the end of my freshman year and all of my sophomore year. So I had to stay home and take care of Raquel. My back's starting to hurt y'all. Um, so yes, I had to do that. Um, and I could not work until I was 16. So financially it came on my child's, uh, father. And of course my mom supported me. And at the time my dad financially supported me. So I could not work until I was 16. But then when I got 16, um, things changed. I definitely think I want to have a conversation about that um, a little bit more in deep on my experience, but in no way, shape, or form do I condone teen pregnancy. I just know my situation was very different. Um, my situation, I will say, motivated me to be the woman that I am now. Um, it doesn't define who I am, but it definitely um, had a lot to do with how motivated and how goal driven I am is because my pretty much half my entire life, I've always had to work. I've always had to be better. Um, not because society made me feel that way, but because I, at the time now working through therapy, I don't feel that way. But before, um, I felt that I had a point to prove that I was not that same girl who got pregnant at 14, right? That's what I thought society, I didn't want society to look at me as a failure and things like that, but working through therapy, I'm a big advocate of mental health and therapy. Um, I don't have that point to prove, right? I know that I'm successful. I know that I'm good. I don't want any, I'm not trying to prove a point that I'm better than anyone because, you know, I made a name for myself. I made a brand for myself or anything like that, but it is a part of how goal driven I am. So that's a little bit, I think we should definitely touch on it because we can get into that with a little bit more. So that will definitely come in the upcoming months, that in career video and stuff like that. So I can sit down and really have a conversation about that. How did you get the career you're in now? We kind of already talked about that. Um, 
What advice would you give a female that makes more money than her spouse to still let the man lead? Woo, honey, child, that's a whole nother conversation. Sorry, y'all, I keep checking my laptop. Um, baby, uh, mm -mm, um, that's a whole nother conversation. What advice I would give is communicate. Y'all need to talk. Y'all need to talk about it because I will just be completely transparent. There's been times where Taylor has made more money than me. Um, I've made more money than him. We make the same amount of money or he's making more money than me. And that's because we've been together for 11 years. So almost 11 years. So there's going to be times where his career is booming. My career is booming. His career is stagnant. My career is booming. My career is stagnant. His career is not. Like, it could it could vary. And it the, the longer you're with someone, that's going to happen, right? You guys have to just talk about it. You guys just have to understand what is what is okay with you, what's not okay with you. I, I don't really necessarily want to say what my advice would be. My advice would just be, you have to talk it out. Like, you have to talk it out. You have to have, a, you have to come from a place of we together. Like, you know, this is us. This is us. I think this is a whole topic too right now about Tyler Perry saying how men need to pay, they can only pay the light bill. I'm like, wait a minute now. Now, if you can only afford to pay the light bill, child, then I don't know. Like, it, Surely people at the unemployment office get more checks than just to pay for the light bill. So well, that's a whole different conversation. But just I feel like you just have to communicate and know that y'all are one, especially when y'all are in a marriage, y'all are together, whatever. Y'all have to like just know that y'all are one, right? Like everything is one. Try to come from a place of not, you know, I'm better than you because I make more money because that's not the case. Right. That could just mean you just in a different point of your life right now. But, honey, that job may not always be there for you. That security of that job may not always be there for you. But your partner is going to be there for you. So just keep that in mind, too, because that's been our situation where I've been booming in my career and I'm making, you know, whatever coins I'm making. But then there's times like right now with the economy that's slow. So where I may not be making boom amount of money and stuff like that versus Taylor is killing it right now you know his career and he's booming so i really think it's all about communication i think you have to talk through it um and you have to, you you all have to come to an understanding amongst what work for you and you got to keep people out your business okay let me tell y'all that keep people out your business i'm talking family friends and all that because friends and family and social media gonna make it seem like somebody needs to be doing this over this over that y'all do what work work for you because if not you're behind gonna be in debt manless womanless or something okay so, let me tell you that keep people out your business and do what works for y'all too because y'all two are the ones that are in the in the relationship that was some real stuff honey we need to talk about that mo y'all want to talk about that cool we're gonna add that uh <laughs> um can i do a skincare routine i will y'all but i'm gonna be honest my skincare routine is skincare routine is garbage because I don't do much. I probably should, but I'm so scared about doing stuff on my face because I'm so scared that, you know, like I'm going to mess up my face and it's going to be weird and it's going to be bumpy. So I try not to. Uh, <laughs> but typically, y'all, I just use this Shea Moisturizer Foaming Lotion or I use, to be honest, y'all, I use um, Johnson's Sensitive Wash and I use my Black Girl Magic. I think that's what it's called, my Black Girl magic sunscreen and that's honestly what i use y'all um that's pretty much what i use um and then i just moisturize with the jurgens uh moisturizer um i'll do it i'll do it i'm over here trying to tell y'all i'll do it i'm checking my phone to make sure i'm good on time i'll do that um yes i will do a skincare routine for y'all i i give i'll give y'all that um these were some really good questions y'all um some really good questions some very basic questions too i was asked but y'all know i'm 31 i live in atlanta all that good stuff um whatever all that good stuff but i definitely think that i want to do um you all know oh this was something that was not asked here it was asked on instagram but i could not find that screenshot but it was more so asked like where do i want my channel to be um of course i want my channel to continue to be home 
related because you all know we're this is a big house and so we are still decorating it we're still adding stuff or whatever but things is expensive honey and we just got to be real things is expensive that's why the rugs that i'm using that i put in here is rugs that we already had until i can find a rug that i really like blah 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 this but um it still will be home it still will be lifestyle because i mean that's i'm just being real like this is me this is my life this is my family whatever and um i'm not into like a big fashion girl um but i may go into because i got a lot of questions on like um a lot of stuff on like tv shows and things like that because you guys know like i like to watch a lot of tv i just always have i'm a big tv girl i'm a big podcast girl when i'm driving in the car um and i'm a big music girl so definitely we'll kind of just share a little bit more about that as to why i like this show you know recommending those things for you all and then some tips and tricks about parenting i do not think i'm the best parent or whatever but i try my hardest to be a good mom i try my hardest to be a good wife um i try my hardest to be a good friend a good daughter a good sister a sister-in-law um i try to do all those things so um i definitely will share a little bit more into that because i've seen like questions around that so i definitely think that that will be coming some tips about that um and i may do that like an extra video that may just be dropping on sundays to where i kind of can share some tips and we kind of go in there and another big thing is the career the marriage and the teen um being a young mom being a young mother what that was like navigating that you know 16 years ago right um and how that impacts my life right now so i definitely think that i have um something to talk to y'all about there and i want to give y'all enough notice and etc to be able um to talk that through because that's not something i want to talk about in five minutes it's not that easy so yes y'all let me go ahead and get some water and then i'm gonna be right back and then we're gonna do a quick little unboxing but i appreciate y'all for sending me all of those q a's i really appreciate that like i really appreciate the love that you guys pour into me and i hope you know i'm no therapist i'm no financial consultant i'm no career consultant or anything like that that is literally just my life if you don't agree with it you don't agree with it but this is literally just my life and how my story has been i'm not you know i'm not rich <laughs> or anything like that i don't have a you know i don't have things that other people may have but i just know i work very hard to get to where i am mentally physically financially and just everything above and i owe i owe that all to the man above i'll be right back y'all <laughs> all right y'all all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing it's a little bit of a little bit of everything stuff for beyonce and then some stuff for the house so i just got these um toothbrush replacements i mean this is whatever i'm just doing this because i need to unbox them but these are just some tooth uh brush uh replacements that i got from amazon for our electric uh toothbrushes so just to give you guys some context we do use electric toothbrushes over here in this house um let's see what's this what's this what's this um oh, okay okay got it so this is my stuff for my coffee station so i really wanted to work on my coffee station once i get back from beyonce bring that in so that way i can start making my coffee but these silver containers um are is what i'm going to be using for my coffee station so i'll be able to put like my vanilla my caramel syrups and all of that good stuff in here um super super excited <laughs> to start working on my coffee station because i've just been buying stuff here and there but this is what it's gonna look like hey y'all nice. kale and taylor just got home hey raquel hey okay yeah so this is what i got for the coffee station so i actually have I think i have four of these because y'all know i like vanilla i like caramel um i wanted to get some some apples i don't really like the pumpkin spice i'm just be honest y'all i'm not really big into all that uh hazelnut and all of that good stuff so i think i ordered maybe four bottles of those but um i'm still working on finding some more syrups i know i have those two the vanilla and the caramel ones um 
Yep, this is the same thing. So I ordered four bottles of them. And then, let's see, what's this? Oh boy. I think this is all stuff from Coffee Station. Yes, it is. So I also got these viral TikTok, y'all know these uh, glass containers with the little wooden lids to them. <laughs> Aren't these the cutest? Cause I'm not a big uh, hot coffee drinker. I'm an iced coffee drinker. So when I go to Starbucks, I'm normally ordering the caramel macchiato. Oh, that, that was another question too. I forgot to answer. I'm sorry y'all, what's my favorite Starbucks drink? I normally get, I used to always be hooked on the caramel frappuccino, but now I get the caramel, iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel. But now they got that apple one for the fall. I think it's the ice crisp apple macchiato or espresso chef kiss but that's what i told y'all I, I like apple syrup or something like that so i got these little glass containers because i'm like i'm gonna start like making my own little drinks but on saturdays i'm going to starbucks okay i'm not giving up starbucks i don't care what i got to do i'm gonna figure out a way to get to starbucks on saturdays that's just something that's just good that i like to do um crap i don't know what i did with my little thing Y'all, <laughs> I lost it that fast. My little yellow thing. Let me see what I did with it. I don't know. Oh, right here. Look like it dropped down. Oh, oh, let me show y'all what I got from Target. Actually, today, y'all, I went to Target just for some travel things. So I got these little cushion pumpkins for the um for the table for Thanksgiving. So this is what it looks like. They were in the dollar section. So they're just small ones that I'm gonna be putting on the table because on the table, on the round table and then the rectangle table we're renting tables and chairs because we're hosting Thanksgiving this year. Um, so we're hosting Thanksgiving this year, y'all. And so I'm gonna put these around the garland. So I'm gonna get some greenery and lay that all the way down the table. And then I'm just gonna kind of put this around that with the candles. I share the whole vision and et cetera, y'all, when we get close to that time. But I really love these because like I told y'all, this is the color I'm going for. So the napkins and things like that will be around this color. But look at this, this is not cute, y'all. This is not cute. And it matches like all the stuff I got up here. Oh my gosh, y'all. I got a whole bunch of them. They was only a dollar. And then I also grabbed these glass pumpkins that I'm gonna put on the tables too, but they're similar. They're minis. So are these the cutest freaking things, y'all? A dollar at Target. So I got a whole bunch of them too that I'm gonna put on the table and just make like some like a cute garland arrangement on the dining table. And then I'm gonna have like tall candlesticks. They're gonna be gold in the middle um, and a vase with some florals, like the brown vases that I have behind with that window that I showed you guys early in the video. I'm gonna have some vases around that. So. We're gonna be all, we're gonna go all out for Thanksgiving this year. I cannot wait to host my mama, host my mother-in-law, host my grannies. I cannot wait for my kitchen to smell good for Thanksgiving. Baby, mm -mm -mm. I cannot wait y'all. Are y'all hosting for Thanksgiving? I know it's, it's still early, but is y'all hosting for Thanksgiving? Let me know. What's y'all favorite Thanksgiving dish that y'all like to make and eat or eat, right? Like, let me know what y'all, what y'all like to make or what y'all like to bring to the, to, to the dinners. Um, so for Beyonce, I had to order me a clear bag because mama cannot, I tried to do my, I ordered a silver purse, but it was too small. And when I go to concerts, I like to have my lip gloss. I like to have like some powder. I like to have some wipes just to kind of pat my face if I'm getting super oily like I am right now. But I got this purse, this clear bag from Amazon that I'm just gonna wear. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I got that. And then let's see, what else did I get? Not much. Oh, I got this necklace that I got to wear to the concert. It's like this silver necklace to wear. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it though, cause I'm gonna be honest. I don't like my neck to be like hot. <laughs> I don't like my neck to be hot it just is what it is oh and right here i ordered me and raquel some rings y'all because 
your girl got to have some rings so i like i'm trying to see i get a few out but like this ring hope my fingers can fit it <laughs> but like i got this one and then i got like this one just some like rings just to make my little outfit you know a little cute for the little renaissance the little renaissance <laughs> But I got a whole bunch of them. Of course, when we do the get ready with me, when we get to Houston this weekend, y'all will get to see everything and all of that good stuff. I'm about to look at this necklace because I'm looking at it and I do not really like it. it I don't know. Maybe I need to look at it. Y'all know me. I'm a little cray cray. Um, but I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Let me look. Why? Why I got y'all here on the line. <laughs> um. Okay. It's okay. I'ma look. I might do something else. This look like this gonna choke me. <laughs> this look like what? Ah, <laughs> this look like this gonna choke me, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. We might have to, uh, honey, 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 honey. We might have to do something else. Might have to have some little drip downs or some. Let me see. If I do this, okay. If I do this. It still feels like it's giving me choker vibes, like. It gives me choker vibes. I don't know. It's cute. It's actually really cute. I just don't know if it'll fit me. Um, we'll see. We'll put everything together. I'm coming back home and I'm going to pack. But I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog because I know this vlog is super long. Um, and then the next vlog will be pack with me and head to Houston, Texas, baby. Because I cannot wait to see the queen. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe share my channel y'all we about to get real real because i at first i didn't think y'all wanted to get real but y'all was still gonna get the real but y'all like really 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 uh want the real so i am i'm all about being as vulnerable as possible and etc share my experiences as i mentioned before so y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next video bye thank you all